So I have an excess of guitars that I've that I've gotten over the years. Um, I have more than I could even really play, and more than I do play. A lot of them just kind of sit around our studio and, and collect dust, and and a lot of them are cool guitars. I mean, this is a great guitar, but I have like 15 of these. <laughs> this guitar right here is the very first prototype for my signature model that Fender put together when we first started talking about doing a Chris Shiflett signature model guitar. I think the bridge is different, the paint is definitely different. You can kind of see the wood grain through this one. It's not that like arctic white. It doesn't have, you know, my name on the back of it, so. You know, at the time I had a, um, I still have it out in the back, uh, like an actual old 72 um, Tele Deluxe. And so it was sort of like taking that and then taking, I made a couple of parts guitars that were sort of like souped up versions of that and then sort of like trying to figure out how to make that all come together, you know? I mean, the big difference is like, you know, having the, the Rosewood fretboard and four bolt neck and um, humbuckers instead of wide range pickups, you know, that was sort of the main thing. I think this is the first one they sent over, like something like this, and then we just kind of dialed it in. <laughs> This one is, uh, I forget what year that is, it's, it's like a 90s, you know, I always wanted a, an Alice Cooper band SG Custom or whatever it is, you know, and it's a beautiful guitar, but I just don't find myself playing it too much. And then this one, you know, I just got that off Reverb, and that one I've been playing, I have a, non, a 68 non-reverse that I've, I've just kind of fallen in love with, so I wanted to have a, another non-reverse to throw in. You know, we always have like an A rig and a B rig and a C rig because our gear is kind of floating around when we're, when we're touring. Um, so you kind of have to like recreate your favorite guitar a couple of times. Okay, this Firebird has an interesting story because I bought this back around the time that we did um, One by One, which was the first Foo Fighter record that I ever played on. So I always, wanted a Firebird. I grew up just kind of like fantasizing about having a Firebird. And so I bought this one, was originally white, and I bought it new from Gibson. And then I didn't like the tuners on it, because it's, you know, it comes with those like banjo tuners. And I kind of just, I, I messed with it a lot, and I still didn't play it that much. And then there was a point where I thought, you know, I'm gonna make it back to exactly how I got it, except I'm gonna paint it Pelham Blue. Because we had routed it out for Humbug. We'd done all this stuff. So I just had it put back to kind of its original style in the classic style, but it's Pelham Blue now. Well, the main thing is we put in mini humbuckers that were overwound, because the mini humbuckers are, that originally came in, I didn't like the way they sounded. You know, so it's, it's, it sounds great now. When it was white, this thing toured with me a lot. As a matter of fact, that's the guitar that I'm playing in the All My Life video, but it's white. I'm a huge, huge Brian Setzer fan. I'm a huge Stray Cats fan. I love Brian Setzer. I've always loved Gretsch's, and I wanted a, a, a Gretsch that would be kind of rocking enough for Foo Fighter stuff, and this has um, those TV Jones pickups in it, and it just sounds amazing. Plus, it only has one knob, which appealed to me. I either bought it around one by one or maybe the next record cycle, but there was a period there where I toured a lot with this. So yeah, I think it would be fun to um, see these things find a home elsewhere where somebody's gonna actually play them and put some scratches on them. I'm gonna take 20 guitars and turn it into like two guitars. <laughs> it's kind of my plan. 